Welcome guys. So today I am with the Huawei Y90 and I'm going to show you how easy you can get the Google services on the smartphone. It will take like five minutes. So at the first you have to remember to be connected to the Wi-Fi network or mobile data. Right now we are going to download the G-Space ap application from the Petal Search. So open this application, Petal Search. And next up on the search pool, type G space. We'll be moved to the apps. And as you can see, it's already on my phone. Oh, sorry guys, I just didn't uh, remove it. All right, now I'm gonna show you for sure, step by step, don't worry. Okay, it's not on my phone anymore. So when I go back right here, we have to tap install. I just tested, so that's why it's on my phone. And I really can recommend you this, this way to get the Google Apps on your phone because it's really working and it's totally free. So we have to open uh, by tapping on this button. And as you can see uh, right now, we have to tap start, accept both permissions. And right now uh, to use the G Space, we have to download uh, the necessary kit. So tap download and right now, just wait a little bit. Okay, right now we have to allow the permissions. So tap on the switcher, then just go back and then tap right here for the necessary permissions that are not enabled. So tap right here, tap allow. And yeah, right now we can go back. This um, notification disappear. And what we have to do right now, as you can see, we can find here a few application, right? All of them you can find with this red icon fire in the right upper corner. And it means that you didn't open it yet. So let's choose, for example, the YouTube at the first. Uh, we'll be not opening YouTube right now. We'll open the Play Store. As you can see, it's Play Store. We can sign in by tapping on this button. Okay, and that's notification that our device is recognized as the Nova 4E. 4i, I mean. And uh, we can close this notification. And right now we have to tap right here to input our Gmail account. Click next when you input your email and then you have to input the password. So that's uh, what I'm going to do out of the camera. Okay, I'm going to check it with the show password option. Okay, it's correct. So right now put it, click next. Uh, click next in our time, tap agree. It looks like the normal Android phone login. That's the Google backup drive. And there it is. Right now we are in the Play Store. So we can just install the YouTube. <clears throat> if you have any problem, for example, oh, please open my apps to establish a connection with the server. Okay. Wait a minute. That's weird notification. Okay. So as you can see in my case, when I tap just okay, I can go forward and open the YouTube. I mean download and after that open. Uh, but uh, by the way, if you have any problem with the login to this application, sometimes happen that you have to input your mail and the password for another time. In my case, right now it's working, but when I tried this method for the first time, I have to re-enter my, my login data. And also I, I have to, uh, previously, I have to just close the application and open it for another time. And after that, when I open the YouTube with this, uh, I'm gonna show you right now just to better explain so when i opened this application for the first time it's uh, this youtube was still with this uh, fire icon so when i open it like that uh, i was able to to go for the play store uh, right now i will open youtube because as you can see it's downloaded right so if you want to go back and get other apps you have to use uh, this second wait a minute it disappear or am i blind where is the G space? Maybe in the app drawer. Yeah, okay. It's in the app drawer in my case. So when you go for the Play Store, you have to open for another time this application with this little fire in the right upper corner. So yeah, it's working smoothly, no any problem. Your account is already linked. As you can see, you can get whatever you want, games, apps. It just works like any other Android phone. Take a look. Everything is fine. 
And that's the quick and safe method how to get the Google services on your Huawei Y90. It also works for the Huawei 9, uh, Huawei Y70 and other Huawei smartphones without the default Google services. Uh, we record this video for another time for a lot of different smartphones. We also use this method for Huawei P30 Pro, P30, I mean P50 Pro, P50 and P40 also. So yeah, that, that's working and we test it even in like Huawei Nova 9, Nova 9 SE. So it's free, it's safe and it's very easy to download and set up. So uh, I think that's all for this video. If you find it helpful, just remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.